The Patagonia region of southern Argentina resembles in many ways the American West. Located in the foothills of the Andes Mountains, this terrain is perfectly suited to Argentina's most prolific big game animal, the European red deer. First introduced from Europe in 1906, the red deer has flourished in Argentina and it provides a unique and exciting hunting experience for Steve's Outdoor Adventures clients who are fortunate enough to arrange this very affordable hunt. This week we'll join Rich Coles on his first trip to Argentina to hunt the majestic red stag. Join us as we hunt the red stags of Patagonia on another exciting episode of Steve's Outdoor Adventures. I'm Steve West, professional hunting consultant, and these are my adventures. Steve's Outdoor Adventures is sponsored by Scope Coat, Stormcloth 2, Mossy Oak, Direct TV, The Montana Decoy Company, Tillamook Country Smoker, Burris Optics, and by the new Burris Eliminator Laser Scope. Just range them and eliminate them. Well, folks, welcome to this week's episode of Steve's Outdoor Adventures. Today I'm in southern Argentina, where for the past week I've been hunting free-roaming red deer in the foothills of the Andes Mountains. Many of you who've been following our show for the last several years know that this is an annual mecca for me. And really, I can't describe this to you any better than through the power of video. This week, I've brought along Rich Coles, and I couldn't resist the temptation to spend a week getting to know him a little bit better. After a long flight from the U.S. to Bariloche, the hunters arrive at the Algar Safari's Lodge. Upon arrival, the hunting party is greeted by the camp manager, and they're introduced to their first-class lodging for the week. After settling into their private rooms, it was time to head to the range to check the zero on their rifles. Rich will be shooting a Remington XCR, chambered in the 300 Win Mac, topped with a Burris laser scope equipped with the Ballistic Flex system. We had a chance to sit down with Rich as he described his first impressions of Argentina and his upcoming hunt. Hi, my name is Rich Coles with Sportsman's Warehouse. We're here today in Patagonia, Argentina. Oh, we're excited to be here. Here with Steve West with Steve's Outdoor Adventures. We're on a red stag hunt. Um, starts tomorrow. I can't wait to get started. I am pumped. As the sun began to rise, the hunters were preparing to head out for the first day of hunting. We're sitting here discussing the stag we saw yesterday driving in through the gate. This is our guy Tito, and uh, Tito and I, I think we have a game plan. We're going to go find this big 9x7 stag we saw yesterday, hopefully. And, well, it's the first morning of a hunt, the dawn of a new day. So, come on, let's go stag hunt. Two hours into the hunt, Rich and his guide spot a nice stag skyline on the ridge top above. Folks, we're cruising up the bottom of the valley here, and Tito spotted this stag coming out of the bottom. He'd come down for some midday water. It's almost noon, and uh, 
these stags this time of year are real active. Cuatro. Cuatro. Three. 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 It's a seven by six. He's pretty heavy. He's pretty wide. He's got really long first, second, and third points. So. See, and then Camina. Oh, we've got a stock planned out. That's about how long it takes to make one out here. <laughs> Upon cresting the ridge, the hunters spot the stag tending a herd of hinds about 500 yards out. But with no cover between them and the stag, a stalk will prove difficult. gonna wait till this stag comes down in this river bottom tonight I mean, we think we can get him down here where it's gonna be a little easier too much open grass too much open country between us and him you know it's probably pushing about a 500 yard shot with a crosswind so it's probably not the most ideal situation Folks, we're going to head back in for the morning, wait till this evening, get these stags when they come right down to the water. Stay tuned, we'll be right back with some more Steve's Outdoor Adventures. Stay tuned to Steve's Outdoor Adventures. When we return, Rich makes a stalk on a big red stag in Argentina. A new age of modern scope technology has arrived. Burris Optics presents The Eliminator. The Eliminator incorporates laser range finding technology with automatic bullet drop compensation calibrated to your rifle and bullet combination. Burris Optics, leading the way in modern scope technology. Burris's new Eliminator rifle scope, changing rifle scopes forever. Just range them and eliminate them. You've all been there. In the woods with a scope that's been bumped off zero, damaged, or a lens full of mud, rain, or snow. Next time you go in the field, protect your rifle scope with the inexpensive Scope Coat. Its durable neoprene design provides much needed protection for your valuable optics. Go to the website address on the screen to get more information on Scope Coat and their other great products and register to win one of over 500 free Steve's Outdoor Adventures DVDs to be given away this year. Whenever I go on one of my extreme hunting adventures, I take along my favorite jerky snacks and I always choose Tillamook Country Smoker. While other jerky manufacturers are outsourcing their jobs to South America, Tillamook Country Smoker has been and always will be made in America. So next time you go to buy a bag of jerky, look on the back and see where it was processed. Then look for the Tillamook Smoker brand and buy American. The 2010 Ultimate Television Gear Giveaway. Popular outerwear company Stormclock will be doing monthly drawings for free gear, and one lucky winner will be drawn for an all expenses paid guided elk hunt to be filmed for the Steve's Outdoor Adventures television series. To enter, go to the website address shown on the screen and fill out a simple online form. And remember to ask for Stormclock at your favorite sporting goods retailer. This could be you right here with me next year hunting big bulls. Go online and enter to win today. Welcome back to Steve's Outdoor Adventures as we join Rich Coles on the second day of his red stag hunt in Argentina. Well, we got up this morning. It was a gorgeous morning. The sun was rising. Um, we're we're hunt, driving to the hunting area. We look out the left side of the window and we see this beautiful, beautiful stag. He ended up being a management stag. We tried to get on him. He just uh, didn't want to hang around, so we, so we kept going. We got out, got out of the truck and uh, walked over this little rise and all of a sudden this this beautiful stag this beautiful management stag 
was walk, walking right to us. Now, Hunter's luck isn't all bad, and in this case, it seemed fate had brought this gorgeous management stag right into Rich's lap. Good shot. He's done. He's done. He's done. Yeah. <laughs> <She's> so. <some. laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo. Yeah, we won. <laughs> bueno. Oh, awesome. <laughs> you know, we we were coming up this valley. We just went on this other management stag about a mile back, and came up here. Tito and I walked up here on the hill, and I'm just tall enough I could see over the top. In fact, I can still see two more red deer out there. The other one's running off, and there's a couple ostrich. When you're tall, you can see over the hill a little bit. I saw these white tips coming. I said, ah, Tito, get over here. <laughs> it's mucho malo. Let's go get him, bud. Okay, man. Good shot. You took him, I think, right through the lungs or something, because he, he took off and he just ran out of steam. Yep, didn't go far. No. Right. Oh, got five on that side, too. Look at that. A little two, three, four, five. Got a little fifth on this side. Hey. Right on, Rich. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> oh, look at him. That's perfect management, you know? Because that's a stag that needs to be shot before he breeds any. Took him out right behind the shoulder. This would be a real typical management stag, folks. Kind of a four by five. He's got a little fifth on one side. But uh, here, spin him around so everybody can see. I mean, he's bigger than your average elk out in like Colorado or Montana. Just a real prime specimen for taking out of the herd as a management animal. But good shooting. Thanks, man. Well, great. folks, as you can see, Rich is able to take his first stag out of his uh, hunting package here in Patagonia. Uh, you know, every package is inclusive of one management stag and one trophy stag. This is a fine example of a management stag that we'll take here in, in southern Argentina hunting in the Patagonia region. Now, Rich, I understand this is your first, your first red deer, right? First red deer, man. These things are beautiful. It's so fun hunting them during the rut. Just had a great time. While oh, they're roaring, yeah, we can hear them roaring all around back there. In fact, in the background, we can probably see 30 or 40 more red deer. I can hear them roaring. I can see more over here. Everywhere we look at here, there's red deer everywhere out in these big flat areas because this is where they come to rut and carry on all day. Yeah. You know, that the 300 Winchester Magnum shot right through. It looks like he caught the back of the lungs. Uh, stag ran probably 100, 150 yards and just tipped over, man. It was perfect. Yeah. So, you know, it's, just, it's a great hunt out here. Like I said, all of our clients get to shoot two stags. And thanks again for being able to join me down here. Hopefully we can get you a trophy stag for the weeks out. Oh, you bet. That I, don't think, great. I don't think it'll be a problem. There's yeah. so many out here, so. <laughs> Stay tuned to Steve's Outdoor Adventures. When we return from commercial break, Rich Coles continues the second leg of his hunt package and hunts for a trophy red stag in the Patagonia region of Argentina. We'll be right back. <laughs>